foundation about visual art and photography. If you want to help us, just drop a donation on buymeacoffee.com slash berlinexplorer. Hey, welcome everyone to 50 Minutes of Experience and today I'm with Mario Paish from Portugal. Welcome, Mario. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you for having me here. It's a, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to be sharing my, my contents and my experience with you guys. So I'm very, I'm very blessed to be here. Thank you, guys. So Mario, it's uh, really nice to have you, as I said. And uh, uh, today we talk uh, about some of your experience, uh, not only as a photographer, but also as a human. And uh, mm -hmm. you, I think you have a lot of stories to tell us, but don't be nervous. Don't be shy to tell. <laughs> no, no, it's all good. And. Uh, Uh, let's start just uh, from you and uh, who are you just to introduce you to who is listening to this podcast and then we can go a bit deep and throw uh, your story and uh, your life and your experience, okay? Sounds good. So I'm Mario, uh, I'm 42 years old, I live in Lisbon, um, I have a huge uh, passion uh, about photography since uh, about 20 years ago. Uh, that's when I start to uh, start shooting. Uh, nowadays, I'm a flight attendant. It's not my my photography is my, not my job, but uh, as a flight attendant, I have the chance to travel a lot, and uh, also to explore my my photography in those places. So it's a it's a huge opportunity to to do that. Um, I start uh, taking pictures here in Portugal uh, when I was younger. Um, I wanted to, to be a surf photographer underwater, uh, so I started shooting with a small cyber shot and a, a water housing. I was uh, taking pictures of my friends surfing, but then uh, the passion starts, started to evolve to a, to a more complex thing. And nowadays I'm exploring a little bit more street photography and the photo journalism from the places where I, I'm traveling to. So. Oh, it's a good experience. Most of, the most of the time you you travel and you enjoy the travel, you enjoy the other cultures, and uh, yes. we can say we can say you survive of that, or it's just something is uh, related to something else. Uh, it, it started uh, as a job. Uh, I, I had uh, since I was a, a, a young boy, I had the, the desire to travel a lot, especially to to some different places. And uh, luckily, I start working with this with this airline that uh, takes me to these uh, amazing and uh, uh, not so commercial places. So I have the chance to to take some pictures over there, especially India and uh, other places uh, in Africa and uh, also uh, Saudi and uh, other different, totally different places. So I, I have the chance to to take some nice pictures over there and uh, and to explore my my creativity in those streets. Sometimes it's not so easy, but uh, I'll try my best every time so, I go out into so the streets. Let's do it, uh, let's do it some uh, questioning uh, time. Uh, yeah, I put you some question, short answer, and we, we try to discover as much as we can. So the good. worst place uh, you were in your life? Ooh, that's a tricky uh, worst place. <sighs> That's a tricky uh, question. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> my worst place, uh, probably uh, Algeria. It yeah. was hard. Um, it was hard to take pictures in those streets because they are uh, uh, they are a bit suspicious about people from uh, other countries. So to take pictures in that country was uh, was a challenge. So I, I wasn't able. To explore so much, uh, but uh, yes, um, probably uh, Argelia. Argelia is uh, probably the worst place that I've been. I'm curious now uh, because I'm struggling. <laughs> I'm, uh, you know, we are doing a book of uh, subways and underground all over the world, and okay. I have a lot of problem to find the picture of the subway in Algeria. 
Have you some uh, no, don't have Subway? It. No. Ah, no. <laughs> damn it. So no. I, I try, I tried, but yeah, I can understand because uh, I told you uh, doing this uh, work, uh, I'm searching picture from Algeria and it's uh, really difficult to find this picture yeah. in general, not only of the subway. Uh, so I can understand. And uh, let's go to the next question. Um, you said you're going to places uh, uh, are a bit more either that we can say. So if you go in India, yes. for sure you visit the central city, but also you go somewhere else, I think more in the villages. And um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would love to know more about uh, uh, what drive you to these countries. Uh, uh, you just, uh, you know, um, think about, okay, I want to just travel and uh, I take first ticket, uh, come up to my mind, I go there and then from that I just discover by over the feeling uh, or uh, you prepare some plans. So tell me more about your process. I will, I'm, I'm really curious about your process. Yeah, now, now um, the airline that I, I'm working with, they have a long-term operation in India. So I've been traveling uh, this last year, maybe six times or seven times to India. So every time I go there, I try to uh, uh, discover uh, other places. So, uh, for example, I went to see the Holi festivities uh, in March. I was there. Uh, I arrived in Delhi a few days before, so I, I had a chance to 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 go driving over there with a, with a friend, with the uh, Indian. Uh, It's, lo it's like my tour guide, you know? Uh, so I had the chance to go there. Uh, um, I had some days off over there, so I, I, bo I booked a, a plane ticket and I went to Varanasi, so I was able to enjoy Varanasi. So every time I, I went to, I, I go somewhere to, to work and I have some days, I try to plan some, uh, some uh, trips in those countries so I can, I can discover a little bit about the, the places and the, the people that are living there, so. It's a, it's a good way because I have I, I can me I can be uh, several days over there in India for example uh, and I can I can explore everything basically. We can it's say nice. actually is uh, you went there more and more times so we can say yeah 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 you yeah. have a friend there you have uh, your situation your your stories uh, going on and uh, yeah 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 let, let, <laughs> Tell me more. I, I would love to know uh, the people you met there, uh, the people you are getting in touch with. Uh, um, what are you discovering? What uh, what are the experiences? Uh, are you taking with your picture or not? Uh, also not because most of the time, uh, uh, and I, probably this is something I can feel it from your picture and also from uh, watching you now, uh, that... Yeah. Uh, Probably you are not uh, one of the person that sees something really cruel in front of you and taking a picture, but more like uh, uh, being human. I, I I don't know. This is my feeling. I mean, like, uh, you know, um, I, I was talking uh, some podcast ago with a uh, uh, photographer from uh, New Jersey, and we was talking about, uh, yeah, you know, when uh, mm -hmm. there are uh, uh, photographer, reporter in general, uh, they work for newspaper, and uh, they go in a war or they went uh, for example the 11th september uh in uh, new york, in new york everyone, yeah, yeah. everyone was shooting people dying and he was there and he felt like no i cannot do it that you know and uh, and this is the feeling i i feel like yeah probably you could be one of the this photographer that say no i cannot do it that but tell me yours i mean <laughs> if you can do it probably you have the stomach to do it that <laughs> so yeah i i think the 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 main purpose of photographers is to capture moments and moments that are happening so uh, uh if i if i'm if i'm seeing a, a situation uh a extreme situation and uh I can shoot it. I will shoot it. Of course, I will take the picture. Uh, and if I if I, if I can help someone along the way, I will help someone along the way as well. We must be humans, not only uh, photographers. I think, but uh, the main purpose of photography is to capture the moment. So, imagine the 9/11. If there weren't there uh, photographers or uh, cameramen, the the impact of, of that event would be a lot less because people wouldn't see the, the, the graphic part of it. So yeah. that's why it's important well, not to, so have, to have some, some, sorry? 
but people will not see the truth in a, in a way. Yeah, of course, of course. So I, I think this is the main uh, purpose of photography in general is to, to show the truth, at least the, 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 the truth of yourself uh, as an artist or the, 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 the thing that is happening around you. Uh, not faking, that's why that's the major, uh, major point of photography, I think. So keeping your words, at keeping your words, I want to ask you uh, how much is the weight of the truth in this, in this work? I try to be a, a, as true as possible as the things that I see on the streets uh, because uh, my main purpose is to take people travel over there, travel me mentally in this case. Uh, they see the picture and they feel that they are over there, they are experiencing the thing, they are living, living the thing that I'm living. So that's, that's my, my main uh, approach on photography. That's right. why I like to, to show the truth to the people, what is happening on the streets, for example, in India, uh, what are the main uh, feelings when you go to, for example, Oli Festival, where are all the Indians are together in a, a huge celebration. Uh, this is my main thing, is to show people that this happens in the world and uh, it's part of it. Yeah, this is what I want to ask you exactly the Holy Festival because I was watching this picture and then you started to talk about it. and it's so cool because it's like, you know, a connection without knowing uh, that uh, yeah. I'm watching that. Uh, but, but really, I want I want to go a bit more deep in, uh, in uh, what is your vision and uh, ask to you uh, more about uh, what, uh, what are you what are you feeling uh, uh, not only during the travel, because I can imagine during the travel is something uh, really strong. And uh, but uh, yeah. what, what uh, uh, push you? What drive you to go back there in India? I mean, uh, uh, we can avoid the friend, we can avoid the story, as you know already. But there is I, probably something more than drive you there. Yeah, India is a is a very complex country, as you might. Uh imagine uh, you see everything over there you see uh, uh, humanity is in its pure form i think you can see the best of it and you can see the worst of it uh, in the same place almost at the same time and it and it's a, it's a very beautiful country in my, in my opinion uh, i know I, I was there the first time i was in goa four years ago and I felt that, okay, I have a connection with this place. I know that I can go there, make some good pictures. Uh, people are very friendly, are very open to take pictures, actually. So it's not uh, a huge barrier. So you can approach them. Uh, you can try uh, to take a, a, a portrait without asking. And then you ask after, or you can go and approach people. Oh, can I take you a portrait? And they, they are not uh, posing, for example, as we do in Europe, uh, posing, smiling. They, ju they just show what they are really are. So that's the most amazing thing uh, about those people. I can imagine. I would love to, that's in this way, I would love to travel to India. I mean, I'm meeting a lot yeah. of uh, photographers from India that they yeah, talk yeah. about them country. I met a lot of photographers here from India. They I they are friends and uh, mm -hmm. I got in touch with them stories. Uh, and uh, yeah, there are always a lot of different particular situation uh, I get in touch with and it's uh, always magic to imagine to, to spend, I, I don't want to say a lot, but one year there discovering uh, the world. Yeah, it's a really nice place. I want to ask you a uh, last question. It's a really nice place. A real last question, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, a question a bit more open that we can go along uh, with. It's um, of course uh, that you travel a lot and then uh, you do it to this work. Uh, if you have to advise uh, to other photographers never did this, uh, uh, they want to travel, they want to uh, make them life discovering photography and traveling together. Uh, what uh, are your advice uh, for them? Uh, basically, uh, plan well, well your trip because there are cer certain uh, timings in the places. For example, India during summer is, is horrible to take pictures because at 7 a.m. it's already almost 30 degrees. <laughs> so imagine. Uh, so it, it, it's planning above, above everything is planning the, the trip. 
see what you want to take pictures because people that are um, more into landscape photography need to choose maybe they go to iceland to go to iceland you need to choose well the the dates to go there otherwise you'll get a completely a snowstorm and you cannot do anything <laughs> so it's planning above everything plan the place plan the right timing to take picture of the place for example there is a river in new delhi uh, and during winter there are, there are some birds that uh, stay over there in that area in that river so during sun, sunset and sunrise it's magical that place the birds are like a thousand birds flying uh, into the sky with the, the sunrise. And this is on, only happen, happens during winter. So if you go there by summer, you don't get anything. So I think when well the, the trip, where, where to start, where to end, the middle, uh, all the contingencies that you might uh, face, uh, face uh, regarding weather, regarding transportation, internet, uh, accommodation as well. So planning... Uh, while you are, you are traveling, it's a, it's a key point, I think. Otherwise, we'll be completely lost <laughs> with the do luggage you, cameras. So it's, a, it's important the, to plan you, well. Do you work on the post-production uh, during your there, or uh, you are uh, just getting back the work when you go back in Portugal? Uh, uh, of the timings. If I stay there, for example, uh, I went two months straight to India. So I took my computer with me and uh, I, did, I did the editing over there because I was affected with the COVID in India. Uh, when the, that uh, big uh, catastrophe happened in India, I was infected there. So luckily I had my laptop with me and I was able to, to edit uh, a lot of pictures during my isolation. <laughs> it's another story, <laughs> another yeah. long story. But yeah, okay. usually I do, I do it 50-50 basically. Okay, okay. So, so just, yeah, in, in the flow, depends of the flow. Uh, obviously, I think it's about uh, if you got the uh, best picture of your life, uh, then you say I have to post product now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Usually, I have a, I have a tablet as well where I can do a, some light uh, uh, post editing, but the major one I, I use on the on the I do it on the computer with the Lightroom. Uh, very intu intuitive. So usually, I I use it. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> So uh, thank you a lot to Mario for uh, for your time and for your words. And, uh, Grazie mille. Was short but nice. And uh, uh, if everyone wants to see the work of Mario, uh, we'll find the link in the description. And this was Mario Pais from Portugal. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you for your uh, time and talk. <laughs> Thanks for listening to our podcast. Learn more about our project at allmylinks.com slash Berlin Explorer or visit our Instagram and follow Berlin Explorer project. <laughs>